Chris's night and kind of the historical significance. I mean, as far as we can tell, he's the first player ever to have 20 points, 20 assists, no turnovers. Is that right? In an NBA game, yeah. Well, at, since, at least since turnovers were recorded. I didn't know that. Thank you for the history. Um, visually, it looked beautiful. I can tell you that. He played uh, the whole team, though. The, the, the movement, the spacing, the, the attacks, you know, it's and, it, and I know this sounds crazy. It's rare where a practice and then the next day guys pick up on what you worked on. Um, I thought it started yesterday, but you know, a lot of times you have a great practice and it doesn't translate right away. You know, it takes time. I thought yesterday was the start of how we played today, um, and, and CP was great. All of them were great, and like they all moved the ball. Uh, they got down the floor. We had some defensive lapses. Um, you know, but our pace was so fast that it probably gave them more attempts, you know. Um, and so it was good. I mean, when you think about it, we had 94 attempts. And really, the last six minutes, we slowed the game down. That's, uh, that's, that's fast, good basketball. JJ kind of talked about needing to find more joy again. You kind of talked about the mojo. Did it sort of seem like they were having fun? More Usually fun when anything? you're winning, um, yeah. you have more fun than when you're losing, you know. Um, but I, like someone asked me that before the game. and. To me, it's more you know when you're playing right and winning, and you know when you're not playing right and even winning. And when you're not playing right and winning, you feel more lucky. You know, it's like Brad taking a test in college and he passes. He got away with it, you know, but he, he didn't feel great about it, you know. Okay, Brad. He did, but Brad was trying to feel great about it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How's Austin? What can you tell us about him? I don't know. I mean, he. Um, you know, that blow obviously had a, a delayed effect. Uh, you know, he passed all the tests. I mean, right when he went on the floor, you knew something was wrong. I mean, I heard, you know, when I saw him grab his head because of the noise, you knew something was going on. And, uh, we got him out quick. So he, he was tested on the bench after that? Yeah. yeah. He passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know, before the game, you said it would take longer for the guys to get that mojo back. Yeah. And it's, it's still well. I mean, tonight was nice, you know. Uh, they didn't have Anthony Davis, and we didn't have Blake. And, but we just played right, you know. And sometimes even when you play right, it doesn't come right away. Um, today, it did, especially the, just the movement and the space, and the ball was flying. You know? And it was interesting, and I can't wait to see the analytical numbers. I would go so far to say, uh, everyone, even Chris, with 20 assists, probably had less dribbles. Every single guy on the entire team probably had less dribbles than they had the game before, would be my guess. Uh, and, and that's impressive when you think about the numbers that we had. Doc, with Blake out and he scores about 20 points as average, what do you tell the rest of the players to do as far as making up that point differential? Oh, I don't tell them anything. Uh, just. Be yourself. Like the one thing I don't want them to be is think they're Blake. There's none of them. It's only one Blake. And as a team, you make it up. And we did today. But I don't. I don't say much about it, really. I don't really mention a lot when a guy's injured. I just we just put another guy in. Literally, we don't say much at all. Austin was having a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah, he was good. I mean, he's great at, this, at that. Uh, we needed him more, uh, you know, to help CP out defensively because they have pretty good guards. And I thought he did that. He's been shooting the three well, which is nice for us. Um, and CP likes it because it gives him another ball handler. Like CP I was rested because he didn't have to bring the ball up every time. You know, he had another guard on the floor with him doing that, and, and he enjoys that. Doc, just, a, just wondering, do you think the league will ever find a way to make a schedule that doesn't give you guys so many games in the regular, like you have recently? and give more chance for guys to play every month? Yeah, you know, they will. I mean, they're going to get better. Next year, we're going to get an extra week, I think. Um, but we are in an arena with three teams, and, and that hurts us too. That hurts the Lakers, and that hurts the, the Kings. Uh, this year, the reason all of our schedules are bad is because the All-Star game, the hockey game, took another extra week. You know, usually that's one week that we usually have as a group of more scheduling dates, uh, but this year is just an extraordinary year. And that's why we have an awful schedule, and there was no way around it. So we, we knew it. You know, honestly, I will say this. Uh, when I looked at the schedule, I saw them every other day for that long stretch. Uh, I thought it looked okay, 
until we got in the middle of it and I realized this, this is not a good stretch. You know, uh, I would say that our trainers and everybody told me it was awful, but I didn't believe them. I thought every other day is pretty good. Uh, every other day is not pretty good, especially when you're traveling. Uh, and it definitely has created stuff. You know, but we're going to get through it, and uh, we got to get through this the rest of this month, and then we got a couple months that are awful, and then I think March is the brutal. So, just just to be clear, Austin is being treated for a concussion. Is that right? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay. I'm assuming yes uh, would be, but I uh, <clears throat> I you know I just asked how he was doing. Yeah. You know, so I think whenever you're taking out the game, you're, you're probably tested would be the, a better way of putting it. <clears throat> And then, do you guys expect Raymond back on Monday? Monday, yes. Okay. Nice. All right, thanks, guys. We have to have him back. <laughs> now you do.